Welcome back to Simply Our Home. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. In today's video, we are here in our family room and I'm going to start decorating for summer. Now I started last week in my kitchen and if you happen to miss that one, I'll go ahead and link it up above. But what I've been doing is just adding some subtle pops of color through faux fruits to my neutral decor. Now I'm loving that collected kind of cottagey farm farmhouse look. So I'm hoping to carry that into our family room today. So you'll definitely have to stick around to the end to see how it all turns out. Now, if you are new, I hope that you'll consider subscribing before you go. I'd love to have you back. And also, if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with somebody that you know. I also hope that I give you tons of decorating inspiration for summer and that you enjoy watching. Well, let's go ahead and jump into cleaning first and then decorating next. I always start by cleaning up first before I start to decorate. And today I definitely need to get to my blinds. I haven't did that in quite some time. So I'm just taking my Swiffer and going over the blinds and in Side the windows as well and then later in the video I'll be sharing with you a special device that I love to get up all of my fur babies hair they have been shedding like crazy so we definitely need to get all that hair up off of the sides of our sofas so let's just go ahead and work on this and get it all clean and then we'll get to the fun part which is adding all of this beautiful summer decor One of my favorite places that I love to decorate is our mantle. And I can't believe that it has just been over a year since we painted it. It still feels brand new to me. But we went ahead and painted all of our oak trim throughout our home. And I wish we would have did this 10 years ago when we purchased the house. But I'm so happy that we finally did it. I can't tell you how much it improved the look of our home and updated it. For this summer, I'm keeping the bottom of our fireplace pretty simple with just this galvanized metal container from Hobby Lobby along with some daisies that I found also from Hobby Lobby. I just thought they gave that little subtle summery touch. And then I love this fern that I found from Target. Plus, I'm adding this corbel also from Hobby Lobby to add just a little bit of texture down here as well. As we're moving through our family room, you're going to see that I've already pulled off all of my decor. I love to do this when I'm decorating, even if I'm going to be using the same pieces. I find that I'm more creative and by removing everything, it makes cleaning that much easier. So here on our mantle, I'm just adding some of that succulent that is called the string of pearls. And you can see I'm just placing it sporadically and especially to hide that ugly outlet that is in the center. Because we do have our TV above our mantle, sometimes it's hard to find decor pieces that fits well under that space. So when I spotted these mini vases from Hobby Lobby, I knew that I had to have them and that they would fit perfectly in this space. And I love that there are three different textures or varieties and I just kind of mixed and matched them kind of balancing them on each side and I just think that really bounced off of the greenery and looks beautiful there. Now I'm going to take these plates that I found at TJ Maxx and 
place them to the sides just to add more of those daisies to incorporate and add some symmetry. Then to add some height to the ends of the mantle, I'm adding these enamel pictures. And because they are different sizes, I love to use some books to elevate the smaller one so that it looks balanced and purposely placed. And these books are just ones that I picked up from the Goodwill and then just took a sander to make them look vintage. Next, to warm up the space, I wanted to add some wood elements. So the bottom of this cloche, I think, just warmed up the space into the inside of it as you can see I placed a hearth and hand plant to add some warmth to the other side I'm adding this piece that I picked up from Marshall's so now it's time to add those summery pops of color and I'll be doing this with some faux lemons as well as some small purple florals that I'll just place sporadically Okay, so here is how our summer mantle turned out. I'm really happy with it. I may go back and pick up some florals, either some daisies or greenery to go in the sides in those enamel pictures. I'm just not quite sure right now, but you can let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion. So now we're just going to go ahead and move over to our coffee table and side tables, get those nice and clean, and then we'll start decorating those. As I mentioned earlier, we have two Shiba Inus and they are notorious heavy shedders. So with that comes tons of hair on our furniture. So this device here is called the Chom Chom. I found it off of Amazon and I'll go ahead and link that down below if you'd like to check it out. But I love it that it has no batteries, it doesn't need charged, and basically it works by a back and forth quick motion and it picks up hair, lint, and any fuzz and debris that is on your couches. It works so great and so quickly. Here is a before shot of how our sofas look while the dogs are shedding. They are great about not jumping up and laying there. They have their nice soft beds that they actually prefer. But this device just helps me to quickly get that hair up and move on to what is fun, which is decorating. So here is a quick shot of how our sofa looks now after I've used the Chom Chom. And I have to say, I really do recommend the Chom Chom. I love it also for cleaning pillows. I think that it does a wonderful job without destroying it because I know your lint rollers and your vacuums can sometimes pull in your threads and destroy your pillows. This is so very delicate but yet gets that all up and so here i am sharing with you all the dog hair lint and debris that was collected in that receptacle so now all i need to do is empty that out and i'll be ready to go for next time now we can get back to decorating and i'm going to be decorating our sofa table but first i want to 
make an arrangement that goes back there. So I'm starting with this basket and then I'm adding florals that I purchased from Amazon, Joann Fabrics, as well as Hobby Lobby. And I want this arrangement to feel very casual, carefree, and more like a wildflower arrangement. One tip I have for you when you're decorating is to shop your own home. I definitely will be doing this today. I'm going into our storage room as well as just shopping different rooms and creating different vignettes using my decor differently so that it all looks new and fresh. So to continue that beautiful pop of yellow, I'm adding this print that it has the lemons on it. I actually had a set of two. The other one is on top of our kitchen counters, but these were gifted to me. So I thought that would look beautiful back here as well as just adding a few other tabletop decor pieces. And there you have it, a very simple summery arrangement. For this end table, I'm going to go ahead and keep my Decor Steels Farmhouse Scale. Now, Decor Steels is a very unique online shopping site that you can find farmhouse, cottagey decor at really great prices. And so this scale is one of my favorites and I'm just keeping it super simple by adding some IKEA plants as well as some pots that are also from IKEA. Then I'll be dropping down to the bottom shelf to kind of conceal our Echo Beat and I'm placing a seashell that is a special memory from a beach vacation along with just this little pot with some succulents. Moving over to our other end table, I'm going to be adding this beautiful glass vase with a draping lemon branch that we picked up from Target. I believe Scott got me that for Mother's Day last year. And then I'm adding those two dove birds that light up that I found at Walmart in the spring section. For the bottom shelf, I'm adding my Bible, a potted plant, and also to just bring in a pop of white, I'll add this white finial. When I'm creating a display for my coffee table, I always like to start with some type of tray. And this tray I picked up from the spring shop at Hobby Lobby and I love that it has that textured bottom. And then if you haven't already seen my tips for styling a coffee table, I'll go ahead and link that up above so you can go back and watch that after you're done watching this one. But for the summer, I'm keeping it super simple so that we can easily remove it so that we can play family board games or even watch a movie with snacks on the table. So with that being said, I do want to carry in some pops of summery color with some faux fruits. I found those branches with the oranges from Target and then the other fruits are things that I just had on hand from years past. For the bottom shelf, I'm adding this white enamel container from Hobby Lobby to store our remotes. Then I'll add a plant and this game that is decorative and adds a fun element as well. A perfect way to add some more summery pops of color is to incorporate some throw pillows. And these are pillow covers from Amazon, which I'll link down in the description box if you're interested. But I think this beautiful yellow color just screams summertime. Still loving the placement of this fiddle leaf plant that I've picked up from Hobby Lobby back in the spring but I'm just going to elevate it a bit and then when I did that I noticed that there was a bit of dust on those leaves so I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with my Swiffer and get that nice and dust free. So this is just a friendly reminder if you haven't taken a look at your leaves lately you might want to do that.
Since we spend most of our time in this room and we have two fur babies, I do want to refresh the carpets by sprinkling this carpet refresher from Aunt Fanny's that I got off of the Grove Collaborative site. So I'm just going to sprinkle this on the carpet, let it set for 15 minutes, and then vacuum it up. I have the Grove Collaborative site linked down below if you want to check it out. I am super happy with all the summery colors I've added to my neutral decor. Before I go, I wanted to share today's Bible verse, which comes from John 8, 12, and Jesus is speaking. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I hope that that leaves you with some godly encouragement. I know for me, I love that. If you did enjoy today's clean and decorate, please do me a quick favor and give me a thumbs up and share it with somebody that you know. Let me know down in the comments if you've already started decorating for summer and what your theme is going to be. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are new, please say hi and let me know where you're from. I thank you all so very much for watching. I hope to see you back in my next one. Have a wonderful day, friends. Bye.